This is a very old gag cherry. I love working with this kind of wood. This limb is dying off. So I'm going to help it prune the tree now that it's cold. I'm going to cut right here and this limb there. This is going to be the wingspan of the osprey. Cutting the angles. Now the chisel work starts all shaping. Wings will be curved and cupped underneath, Con convex on top, concave on the bottom. The body will be about here. The wings will come up like this. These will be the wings of the osprey. This will be the neck of the osprey. And I will add the tail on later back in this area. But the main structure I'm working on is the wings. That's where 99% of the ooh and ah is going to be coming from on this carving. Um, Just a quick little look at what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm already getting the rounded look towards the tip of the wings, showing my drawing. They will be more straight, like your fingers headed out. These. is called the primary feathers. You can see I've taken my gouge. I like to use the gouge because you can cut across grain and get more of a shape. But for this I've used the one inch rough gouge. The secondary feathers, and I'm not trying to become an ornithologist, but it does help to study and understand the different parts that you're carving. Um, I used a one inch shallow gouge to get the secondary feathers. There again, this is all very rough yet. hooves by furriers. Works fantastic on wood. If you got a seed and feed store anywhere handy or a hardware store, check out and see if they've got anything like this if you're doing this kind of work. There's a reason they call this roughing in. 
because it's very, very rough. So far, the right wing I've got the basic shape of the wing. I tapered it in here, the shoulder here, arm here. Tapers down. This is called mortising. The part that fits in there is called the tendon. This is one of the oldest joints. that woodworkers have used for thousands of years. This has been found in uh, woodworking and joint making since prehistoric times. tendon which is at the top of the uh, legs of the bird will fit into that and will secure a nice tight fit. I will have to make it deeper as I go to uh, make the tendon and the mortise an exact fit where it will be tight. The collar of the tendon will fit up around here. And then when I go to shape the body of the bird, it will actually become part of the body itself. Smaller as it shrinks. So I don't want to take too much off right now. This will be the position of the bird. The wings still have a lot more shape to it. As it goes down onto the shaft, uh, this will become the legs here, the feet and the talons will be here, there will be a poor little fish laying on the limb that the osprey is about to eat. what the mortise and tendon is and how it works other than just show you. Uh, I still have a little more to deepen the mortise. The tendon I don't want to shorten anymore but you see already how strong it is. The mortise fits in there. In this case I have tapered the mortise or the tendon so it will as it goes on tighter it will wedge in. The wood is still wet. Uh, a week ago it still had sap going through it and it was still on the trunk of the tree. So as the wood cures, dries out, shrinks, whatever you want to call it, this mortise will become smaller or the mortise will become uh, larger as it shrinks the tendon will become smaller as it shrinks. So I don't want to take too much off right now. This will be the position of the bird. The wings still have a lot more shape to it. As it goes down onto the shaft, uh, this will become the legs here. The feet and the talons will be here. There will be a poor little fish laying on the limb that the osprey is about to eat.
osprey has his claws into the fish. In this case, it's going to be a sheep's head. The fins will be here on the top. The tail. The body here. Become a fat fish. His other foot is going to be grasping the limb. I have to bring the limb out as I get ready. I have the wings curved, more or less a primer underneath. I'm going to start detailing the wings and the tail. Shape the head and finish up all the little details. That's where I am now.